Hello, what if you could go from an idea to a working app within a fraction of the time it takes normally? Today, I'm going to show you how you can build a full stack app using Augment Code. So, what is Augment Code? Augment Code is an AI coding platform with 200k token context engine that understands your entire code base, every file, every function, every dependency. Within minutes, you'll see it build a complete full stack AI app that stores and manages prompts, then connects to OpenAI and Gemini models to test the prompts. I built this incredible app without writing a single line of code, creating any file, creating a folder, or even installing dependencies. Augment code just organized my prompt automatically into a senior engineer level task list workflow and executed it one by one as I took my coffee and watched. What impressed me the most was its ability to run without breaking or drama. As you can imagine, I've tested all AI coding tools with every update for the last one year and the task list workflow on this tool is on another level. It's built for developers handling complex full stack application workflows where understanding the relationship between code matters. Its context engine processes 200k tokens with sniper-like memory, and it understands the relationship between every file, function, and framework you're using. This approach has Anthem 70% win rate against GitHub Copilot in enterprise environments. The per message pricing model that scales with actual usage is another unique feature that helps you maximize your return on investment. From a test of all the good features, what stood out was the task list workflow feature that breaks complex tasks and builds them into manageable, trackable steps, turning chaotic development into structured execution. When I first tried Augment Code a few months ago, I did not understand its true strength, but recent updates will impress you. The task list workflow feature has blown my mind, and as you'll see it later in this video, it's a complete game changer. I also discovered the per message pricing model, which makes sense for full stack app development and working with large code bases. For this tutorial, I'll start you off with the trail option that you can set up immediately, then move to other plans if you're planning to handle large code bases in future projects using their unique context engine. To get started, we need to download and install Augment Code. Installing it for VS Code is easy and will take you less than a minute. First, make sure you have the latest version of VS Code installed. Open the extension panel in VS Code by clicking the extension icon on the sidebar. Using the search bar in the extension panel, search for Augment. Click Install and install the extension. After you've installed the extension, you will need to sign in into your account. Sign in by clicking the Sign In button on the Augment panel. If you do not see the panel, use the shortcut Command plus L or Control plus L or click the icon in the sidebar. You can sign in using one of the supported identity providers that include Google, Microsoft, or sign in using your email address. During the process, you'll be redirected to your browser to sign in into your account. Now let's go through a quick guide of the user interface. When you load it for the first time, it may require you to index your code base. Simply click on the index button and it will index the code base and load the chart panel. To use the chart, you simply type your question or command into the input field at the bottom of the chart panel. You will see the currently included context which includes the workspace and the current file by default. You can use the chart to explain your code, investigate a bug, or use a library. To start a new chart, open the panel and click the new chart icon. You can delete a previous chart by clicking the icon at the top left of the chart panel. You can specify context by clicking the icon at the top left of the chart panel or by using the add mention symbol in the input field. There are a number of different types of additional context that you can add to your conversation that include highlighted code blocks, specific file or folders within your workspace, and third party documentation like Next.js documentation as quick examples. You can include specific files folder in your context by typing the add symbol followed by file or folder name. The chat image upload can be used to upload an image and include it in your prompt context. To demonstrate, I'll click on the image upload icon and upload an image of Augment website screenshot. I've uploaded this screenshot and I can now use it as my prompt context to code a hero section layout in HTML. This is how you use image and screenshots to quickly generate layouts or prototype ideas. And as you can see, it has produced the HTML markup from the image which I will run using the live server to test and see the actual results. 
and that's how fast augment code is. The chat mode can be used to write code, but it's not as smooth as the agent mode. As you'll see in my project later, we'll start by using the chat mode, then move to the agent mode where you'll spot the obvious difference. Now let's move to the agent feature. The agent feature is a powerful feature that helps you complete software development tasks end to end. From quick edits to complete feature implementation, the agent breaks down your request into a functional plan and implements each step while keeping you informed about the actions and the changes that are happening. It can write, document, and test like an experienced member of your team. Here you can access the agent, create a new agent, or even use a remote agent. You can set the agent mode to auto using this button and it will run uninterrupted. This is my favorite method since it runs autonomously and self-corrects when any errors occur. Augment Code Engine is very efficient at indexing code bases and fixing errors as you'll see in my test project. The remote agent is a cloud version of IDE bound agent. Each remote agent runs in its own secure environment with its own workspace, all of which is managed by you. To start a new remote agent, simply open Augment Panel and select Remote Agent from the drop-down in the input box. As you can see, you can connect to Git and set up an agent. I will cover this in depth in my future upcoming tutorials. Now let's explore the task list feature. You can use task list to break down complex problems into manageable steps, track progress, and collaborate with agent on multiple step tasks. Augment task list helps agents create and refine a step-by-step -step plan for you to review. The task list provides a structured interface for collaboration between you and the agent, allowing you to break down complex problems into manageable sequential steps. Why is the task list my favorite feature? The task list improves agent effectiveness on long and complex tasks by one, maintaining context across different conversations by moving your task list to a new chart, breaking down complex problems into manageable sequential steps, gathering progress across threads, exploring alternative solutions to completed tasks if you need to pivot, and streamlining your approach to problems by deleting irrelevant steps once the path forward is clear. The task list provides a structured interface for collaboration and opens up possibilities for agent-to-agent -agent collaboration, which is something I find very unique with Augment Code. I can hypothesize that Augment Code is miles ahead in the future of agentic coding since such an interface could be the preferred way to interact with coding agents in the future. So, how does task work? Creating a new task is easy. There are two ways, automatic or manual creation. I will use the automatic creation in the project, but for the manual creation, you can manually create a task Add a task by its name like system design, database, task, backend development, and for each you can provide a description. You can switch to task list using the checklist button next to the changes. To manually create a task, remember to click the plus icon to add your first task. Alternatively, you can create a new task by typing in the gray prompt box at the bottom of the extension. Click the add task from the drop down arrow next to send. For automatic creation, the agent will usually create a task list when it encounters a complex multi-step problem. You can also ask the agent to create a task for you by simply prompting start a task list to, then adding the problem you are trying to tackle. To run a task, click the gray triangle play button next to the task. The agent will begin executing the task and update its status as it progresses. The tasks have task status indicators. Task status are indicated by different colors and icons. An empty circle indicates a task that has not yet started. A blue half circle indicates a task that is currently in progress. A green checkbox indicates a task that has been completed and is ready for review. Now let's look at agent integrations. Augment agent can access external services through integrations to add additional context to your request and take actions on your behalf. These integrations allow Augment Agent to seamlessly work with your development tools without leaving your editor. Once set up, Augment Agent will automatically use the appropriate integration based on your request context. To set up integrations, click on the settings icon in the top right of the Augment chart window or press Command or Control Shift and P, then select to show settings panel. Click on connect for integration you want to set up and you'll be redirected to authorize the integration. The available integrations include Git integration, which pulls in information from Git issues, make code changes, and open pull requests all without leaving your editor. Linear integration, Jira integration, conference integration, Notion integration, and Glean integration, which is available for enterprise customers to retrieve information from internal data sources using Glean search engine. This integration make Augment Agent incredibly powerful for real-world development workflows. There are dozens of other settings that can make Augment Code the best autonomous enterprise coding tool for teams.
which will be covered in upcoming tutorials. Ensure you do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Now let's get our hands dirty by working on a real world project to see what is possible with Augment Code's powerful context engine. My goal is to test it to the limit. As usual, I've created this prompt that we will use for our test project. This is a full stack app that will test the power of Augment Code to the limit. As you'll see it in action, we will have the complete build at the end of the video and go through the entire process of building a full stack production ready app with no shortcuts. During the process, we will see the task list workflow, which is the most important feature that I would like you to see and understand how it works. Now let's begin the project setup. Just a quick pause. If you'd like to get the best out of this tutorial, use the link in the description to download and set up Augment Code so that you can follow along. Once you've installed Augment Code, you'll see the launch icon here on the VS Code side menu. On clicking it, you can create a project, clone, or open a local folder. For my case, I'll be creating my Promsman project as a new folder. If we start the project by using the chat mode, it will generate the code and we can create the files manually using the create button, as you can see, but this is not the best approach to coding such a huge project. Instead, you want to use the agent mode and the task list workflows to create the project layout and build it autonomously without breaking a sweat. The best part of using Augment Code is that it can run on itself and by the end of this video, you will understand why the task list workflow is the best feature to help you build huge projects very fast. For a start, I've added the prompt to the chat mode and immediately it begins creating the code and it's fast as you can expect. But using the chat mode is an okay approach for simple prototyping, but for large projects, it lacks structure and that's why you need to use the agent mode and the task list to make your workflow faster, modular, and easier. Now let's move to the agent mode. To use the agent mode, I've selected the agent mode and I've set it to auto, which lets it run without requiring my input. It will run the task list executing commands, writing code, creating folders, and all development tasks automatically. To improve my initial prompt, I will use the enhanced prompt option. Then if I'm comfortable with my updated prompt, I can now get ready to start building. For this project, I'll not create a task list, I will let the agent create the task list for me. After sending my prompt, it has started running at crazy speed and has already created the task list based on my enhanced prompt. You can see the task completion as they run. It begins by creating my project task one after another using the task list. And I'm already impressed since unlike other AI coding tools that require external MCP tools or add-ons to manage your tasks, this inbuilt task list workflow is the real deal. It's creating the directories, it has done the git initialization and this is very fast. Barely in a few minutes it has built all the files and the folders. For every task that is completed it changes the status and the updates. I'm just watching as it does all the work. I like the task list workflow since it allows me to follow the progress and at some point I took a break for coffee and came back and it was still running and updating the tasks. It creates all the project files including git ignore, readme and it even starts documenting the API and it's doing it in the most efficient way. Once I've selected the file, it pops up and I can review the file like this is the AI service Python file where we are linking the OpenAI API with our prompts up. At the bottom, it updates the number of files that has changed and the lines of codes that have been written. Augment code is so fast, writing thousands of lines of code within minutes and running so smoothly, it's unbelievable. Considering I'm only running on the free trial. I can see the readme has been set up and it's looking impressive. It sets up all other dependencies for the backend and it places them well in the requirements.txt file and we're getting ready to launch the backend which should be completed very fast. Toward the end of the session, it starts indexing the code base to learn what's pending and if there are other changes needed to make this work. We have completed the backend and we are now ready to run it but we need to fix a few errors and I have not written a line of code since we started this process. Finally, we have the backend running and you can see the API and now let's check the backend documentation using the slash docs and it has beautifully created our backend API complete with documentation and this is great. Now it's time to move to Next.js frontend and complete it within minutes. It begins by installing all the React libraries that we need and up to this point, it has run well, creating more than 4,000 lines of code since we started without breaking. After a few minutes, it finally completes and runs the front end on the local front end port. And the front end display runs with this error, which I quickly debug and the front end loads with a broken CSS. 
I know this is not an issue with the code, it's a typical Tailwind CSS loading issue in TypeScript that we will fix later. Now let's create the open API key and the Gemini model key so that we can set them in the environment variables and restart the server to get the app connected with both models. You can go to your open API playground and create the key, then copy it back to the environment file and ask argument code to restart the server. With this tool, you even don't have to start the server yourself. After saving and restarting the server, both the backend and the frontend are working. It's perfect and within these few minutes, we have the app working. For a quick demo, I asked Argument Code to create two demo users, Joe and Doe, and save in the database for quick testing. It quickly created the users and updated everything. I also ran a few prompts to improve the UI. Example, I asked it to change the icon for the prompt testing from a test tube to a flask. I also asked it to update the color scheme to my preferred color. I made several other CSS suggestions, which it quickly fixed and made this modern looking stylish UI for our app. I also quickly added the logo to the front end public folder and requested augment to add the logo across all pages where the logo image is required. While testing, I ran into common React errors such as hydration errors, some CSS issues, and I moved back and forth correcting these errors, which was very smooth. And finally, I have this working demo complete with documentation. The final build is great. After testing it, I can't believe how easy and fast AugmentCAD has built this full stack Python and Next.js app. We've written in total 7,000 lines of code and it even helped me write tests and run the apps. During the process, I did not write a single line of code, install dependencies, or even do basic tasks like creating a folder or a file. First, let's look at the dashboard. The users can register here. They can log in and let me log in into Joe's account. I have this Joe's account with one prompt saved. And as you can see in the dashboard, we have clean interface showing total prompts, favorite prompts, AI tests, and average rating. The user can create new prompts, test using OpenAI and Gemini, and discover prompts from the community. Now let's move to the create new prompt page. Here we have a comprehensive form where users can add prompts details including the title, description, and the actual prompt content. On the right side we have organization options that includes the categories and the tags. Users can also configure settings like making the prompt public or adding it to their favorite prompts. This shows all the user saved prompts with beautiful card layout. Each prompt card displays the title, description, tag, and the usage statistics. You can also filter by categories, search through the prompts, and sort by date. Now let's look into another account. Here we can see Do has been much more active with 16 total prompts, 4 favorite prompts, and 8 AI test runs. The dashboard shows prompts including the code review checklist that's ready for use. And now let's move to the test prompt section to see how the AI integration works. Here we have an AI prompt testing interface where users can test their prompts with different AI models and configurations. On the left, we have the prompt section with drop-down that shows available prompts like code review, checklist, database query optimization, and security vulnerability assessment. The prompt area shows the actual prompt text that will be sent to the AI. Below that, we have the AI configuration section where users can select the AI provider. Let's click on the test prompt to see the action. And here we get the response that shows the analysis from the AI. This demonstrates the full integration between our prompt management system and the AI models, everything working seamlessly together. This full stack application was only possible due to Augment's powerful context engine and the task list workflow feature. The context engine understood the relationship between our backend API and the frontend components, database model, and the AI integration. The task list broke down this complex build into manageable steps, allowing me to track the progress and making adjustment along the way. Without writing a single line of code, I have created a production-ready application with user identification, prompt management, AI testing capabilities, and a beautiful user interface. That's argument code for you. A powerful AI coding platform that is reasonably priced and delivers speed, power, and matched quality, and the best return on investment for any developer looking for speed, reliability, organized workflow, and autonomous coding without drama. Initially, I was skeptical of what's possible with Augment Code, but I'm now convinced their unique context engine has something that is missing in other AI code editors. Not to mention, I did not even have to configure the models or fight external tool integration conflicts to achieve this smooth workflow. I will be running more tests, especially on the agentic coding using Augment Code, to help you learn more and see the value proposition of this AI coding tool. You can try it with a trial version and build a production ready project and let me know your experience in the comments. If you're curious and would like to get the behind the scene videos, access to this code 
and much more, use the link in the description to sign up to the AI Software Engineer Newsletter. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, kindly consider giving it a like and do not forget to subscribe. One like, one subscribe gives me one more step forward to 